Let's dive into it. And, Aaron, I'm going to say this, and I did write a column about this for Deadspin today. And out of all of it, we get it. They lose to the Phoenix Suns in six games. You know, people had them. Uh, it was after game three, people were like, oh, they got a clear path to the championship. I, you remember all the talk. I mean, it was like a layup. I couldn't get over. Everybody thought they were there. They won game three, and it was like, okay, this is going to be over, and uh, maybe they'll get it over in five. I know Chris said over and over and over, who scares you? I'm not, I don't think the Suns can do anything. I don't think Utah can do anything. And for the record, Rob G, are you standing by? For the record, Aaron, I did pick the Phoenix Suns. Okay. I'm not surprised. Rob G, correct? That is correct 1,000%. And, and, and Aaron, my point was too many things have to go right for the Lakers. I can't bet on a team that's hoping their, their guys don't you know, re-injure themselves in a long run. And then I didn't like the makeup of this new team. On paper, people were like, oh, this, the Lakers won the championship and they won the offseason. They got younger. They improved the roster. They won the offseason. And I was like, uh, I'll wait on that. Sure. And I was right. Mm-hmm. I didn't like the pieces that they added. I think they made a mistake uh, giving up JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard and and Rondo and those people that helped them win a championship. Now, here's the last part. What they did last night was wrong to Anthony Davis. It was unethical, and it was cruel. And, and I'm saying this, Aaron. I get that a player wants to play. He didn't have just a groin. First of all, I talked to former players. They said it's a minimum of two weeks, a minimum of two weeks. And they got this guy suited up in uniform out there two or three days after a strained groin. He has a knee injury, and he had a calf and Achilles earlier this year that cost him 30 games. So it ain't just about a groin, even though it was a rush job on a groin. They put him in harm's way. And they did not because they were selfish. And this is the problem with whenever you have LeBron James on your team. Everything is about LeBron and his time frame, and the clock is ticking. It can't be about, oh, we'll just, you know what, we don't have that great of a team. We got injuries. We'll regroup for next year. Next year is year 19. Next year, we don't know. LeBron can't take over a game now. He's going to take over one a year from now or next season. So everything is about that. Everybody feels pressure. The organization, the doctors, uh, you know, the players, they all know what this is about. And that's what bothered me is that somebody, and if LeBron, that's your boy, Anthony Davis, you could have said, A.D., you can't come out here, dude. I want you. You're hurt. I can't have you getting hurt long term. We saw this happen in 2019, and I know it's a different injury. But they put Kevin Durant in harm's way, the Golden State Warriors. They told anybody who would listen, he can't hurt himself anymore, and guess what? Ruptured his Achilles and was out for 15 months. I think the Lakers did Anthony Davis a huge disservice And that is what I got the most out of what happened last night. Not the blowout, not all the other stuff that went on or whatever. You know, they cut it to 10. That game, please. They were never, they never had a chance to win that game, Aaron. So, uh, you know, I I think you and I are are sort of on the same page. I didn't have a problem with Anthony Davis stepping on the court because my, if Anthony Davis had pulled himself out of the game, then you know what would have happened. All day today, because the Lakers would have lost anyway, it would have been, oh my God, this generation is so soft. Look at these guys. Willis Reed, I remember him. So I don't blame Anthony Davis for for making the decision that he did. Hey, I went through warm-ups. I'm going to give it a go. I do agree that somebody had to step up. Somebody had to see him in warm-ups. If you saw that video of Anthony Davis, that guy can't play basketball at 100%. 
with the guys that he's playing against, all those young guys, Booker, Aiton, uh, Mikhail Bridges. And so, to me, I, I think we're we're at the same point in that when you have LeBron, it is always about LeBron, and not only is it always about LeBron, it's about LeBron right now. There is no three-year plan. There is no five-year plan. If you remember in Cleveland, he was on one-year contracts every single year to keep his hands around, you know, just just to keep the the pressure on uh, the organization to say, hey, we got to win now, we got to win this second. And what happened in Cleveland? They've been a train wreck when he left the first time. They were lucky to draft Kyrie. They're a train wreck now. Miami, thankfully, the organization is stable enough where, by the way, they had a couple down years before they got back up. So I only bring it up to say I don't blame Anthony Davis for being out there, but if the doctors – there is no way you could see him go through warm-ups and say that man is healthy enough to step on the court and contribute and play basketball. And thankfully, to your point, there was no further bigger-picture injury – I don't have a problem with Anthony Davis doing it because I think he would have been criticized if he wasn't, but it's up to the doctors to step in. And then to your point, Rob, why didn't the doctor step in? Was it number 23 kind of pulling the strings behind the scenes? And that's my point. If you're a doctor, this is why I don't believe there should be team doctors, Aaron. There should be independent doctors who work for the leagues or who aren't paid by the team because they feel pressure to get players back on the court. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, I mean, I don't mean to jump in, but there's so, I mean, you remember the stories from 8, 10, 12 years ago, especially in football, where the coach would go in and pressure doctors, oh, it's just a concussion, he's fine, he's whatever. So, yes, this is a story as old as time, the organization, the coach, whomever, pressuring team doctors. I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, 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 all good. And, you know, living in L.A. and hearing local radio and all the Laker homers, I get it, a lot of fans got their, you know, panties in a bunch, they're hurt. They're, they just can't believe LeBron for the first time in his career uh, getting knocked out in the first round. He's now 14 and one in the first round. But the excuse making is just, I, I mean, I wanted to throw up in my mouth. I, I just really, uh, first of all, if you want to talk about injuries, right? And they use that as an excuse. How did they beat the Miami Heat last year, Aaron? W- was anybody hurt on that team last year or, or am I? So you're going to get to your point, but let me jump in and say it probably helped a 35-year-old LeBron and the most injury-plagued superstar in the league to have four months off before the playoffs. So that's one. And then two, yes, when they got to the finals, I seem to remember, Rob, and maybe you can refresh our audience's mind in terms of how healthy the Heat were going into that finals. Right. Bam out of Bayou, right? He was hurt. Correct. And Drogic. Yep. Both were hurt. I don't remember anybody, like, discounting what the Lakers did. They had an injured Heat team, and they won a championship. So I don't want to hear about it. You know what? Chris Paul was hurt, too, for the Suns. Great point. Stop it with the, oh, AD was oh, AD was oh, what? You guys were rejoicing when Chris, when Chris uh, Paul was uh, uh, on the floor grabbing his uh, neck and shoulder. Do you remember that? Oh, here we go. Right on time, right on cue. He's going to be hurt, and we'll sashay right into the finals. That's all I heard. I get it. Anthony Davis is a great player. He had two games where he averaged 34 points, but guess what, Aaron? He had a stinker in game one. He did. He played. He was healthy. He played in that and had a stinker. And he played the first half before he got hurt. And he was having a stinker before the injury. So don't act like the Phoenix Suns didn't do anything. Or you, you, you were in total control of this series. And the only reason that they won. Did you watch Devin Booker in the first quarter? Did. Destroy the Lakers at Staples? Destroy them. So I don't want to hear any of that stuff. I really don't. But I'm going to tell you, if this is what the, the, the Lakers are and they're choosing LeBron's legacy over, over you know, and, and that's the way I look at it. I really do. Over AD as the future and the face of this organization, man. They, they might have they gotten lucky last night because he didn't seriously hurt himself. But, boy, that risk was not worth the reward. 
This team was never, Aaron, winning a championship. Not the way it's constructed. They've been inconsistent all year. 